Hi everybody, welcome to the latest video. This is a quick rundown of the next and upcoming release, the Mecha Carrier. Doesn't have a name yet, but I'll figure that out. The first feature you already saw in the start of the video is the fold-out landing gear and the VTOL thrusters, all together activated with just one lever on top. This is a really nice feature. This took some time to design, especially because I had the shape first and then I had to come up with a mechanism that goes all the way through this upper bridge that covers the cargo area. So this was kind of tricky, but I'm happy with how it works. I'm gonna show it again. Let's try to get this on camera. It's not easy to get it on camera because of because as you can see, the size of the thing is uh, more or less uh, gigantic. So anyway, uh, 135 scale, of course, it's a bit bigger. It has to carry a Mac and some other stuff. But yeah, let's go through the rest of the features. So the next main feature, of course, is the capability to carry a Mac. Let's go with uh, let's go with our Sakura Fat Boy. It fits all the Macs, by the way, but the bigger Macs are, of course, a little bit more tricky to get in the cargo area just because of their dimensions but it works I have tested this with all of them but not to have a too lengthy video I'm just gonna show you some stills later with the max so how do we do it let's see let's position this for the camera so up here you have a, a little hook this hook is on a hinge but it works only if the hook is released you're gonna see later on in the video why i have this sort of construction so here's a little hatch you can open up and here's the lever for the hook this holds the hook in place when it's folded down you just fold it up and you can lower it and then when this part is lowered the hinge or the mecha shoulder hook works so what you do is you release the hook, you can fold it up, and then back here is another hook that hooks into the Max back roll bars. Those are identical on all the Max. So first thing you have to do is completely lower the hook in the back. Then you can slide your Mac in like this, Oops. always in a crouched position. Then you can take the shoulder hook, move it below the shoulder pieces of the neck. And once you've got this in place, you can just pull up on this lever and then turn it over, close the hatch again. And now it's up tight and, and this cannot rotate as far anymore. Now the next thing is you take the hook down here, put it in position for the rear roll bar. And then there's a small piece down here that uh, folds out. And this one prevents the hook from going further down again. So this is in a stable position. And as you can see, once you fastened the Mac, it holds in, in place pretty nicely. It's really, really stable and there's hardly any, any wheeling, any movement. So it's possible to actually play with this. Everything holds in place nice and tight. So with this feature covered, let's go into some more details. Let's start with the, with the cockpit next. To get your pilot figures in and out of the, of the cockpit, you have doors with realistic door handles here. You can fold out the door handle. You just open up the door handle and then you can pull out the door and then just fold it open. And inside you have the pilot sitting. So to easily get out the pilot, you can just move the seat to the back and then you can just grab in, release the hands from the controls, then move out the pilot. This is our pilot action figure. And to make things more realistic, down here is a small fold-out ladder for the cockpit. So this folds out and slides out, so it's the perfect way for your pilot to get up into the cockpit. You also have an additional cockpit door here in the back through which you can enter, could enter the cockpit if you have one other module in the cargo compartment, like a passenger module or a cargo module. So I'm gonna fold this back up, put it back in. So next thing I want to show you is the other compartments that exist so far. So I'm gonna first release our little Sakura fat boy again, fold up our shoulder hook, get the Mac out, the side, fold this back in. Now you can see the hooks are basically in place where the cargo modules will be. 
So and what you have to do is you have to release this hook from the holder here, which is quite easy as you can see. And this is here to hold the other cargo modules in place. So where do you put this thing then? I tried several options in the design, but uh, everything interfered with all the mechanism like the landing gear. But I found in the end there is a little bit of space left down here. And since the whole inside of the fuselage is hollowed out, you can simply take the hook and store it all the way up here, close this up, done. The first module we have, this is an early prototype of a, a cargo crate module. It's not completely printed here on the other side. You can see I have only one door. This is how the, how the inside looks like. And you can put it in both ways. There's also doors on each side through which you can enter from the cockpit. So how do you load the cargo module? It's very easy. You can see the opening up here. This is where this part goes. You just um, shove, it, shove it in here. Lift it up a bit, little bit, then you hold the knob down and turn it around 90 degrees. And here it holds in place. Close this hatch up again, and now you have a cargo lifter. And you can open up the cargo door on the side, store some stuff in there like um, your action figures or crates or the, the smaller uh, mechs like the Marv or the Maeve, and even the Exo armor suits, there's a lot of applications for these cargo crates. And there's actually an even better application for our exo armor suits. So if we remove this, Here we have a dropship module. This is also still work in progress. This is the prototype, so I only have built one door for this. And this works the same way as the cargo crate. You just slide it in, push it up, twist the knob 90 degrees, close up the hatch again, et voila, we have a dropship for exo armors. So how does this work? You simply open this hatch and inside there's a harness that holds an exo armor suit. A good thing about this, this is compatible with all our exo armor suits. That means you can just take the suit out like this. And then you can take any other suit like the space type version one, put it into place and then close up the hatch again. And this module holds, as you can see, there's, there's uh, three more doors, two doors on each side. This holds four of the exo armor suits in total. And this is some nice deployment action. I'm gonna make a separate video at some point to show you the construction of this thing, how it exactly works, the mechanics and everything, and also the assembly, because in addition to the instruction manuals I usually provide with the toy designs, I think it would be helpful in this case to also see a video of how everything comes together. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and please feel free to share the videos, and I hope you enjoyed it, and see you back soon on my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.